For this simplification, we have roots on the numerator and roots on the denominator. But if you take a look, one is a cube root and the other is a square root. Uh, the numerator is the cube root of 8x to the 6th power and the denominator is the square root of 48x cubed, 48x to the 3rd power. Now let's simplify this. For this simplification, I am going to do what is called rationalizing the denominator. And rationalizing the denominator is just taking the roots out of the denominator. At the end, I must not have any roots on the denominator. I must not have any roots on the bottom part of the fraction. And what I do is, first of all, this is the original, the original expression that I had. And I am going to multiply it by the denominator by a new fraction which is composed of the denominator but the denominator both on the numerator and on the denominator of the new fraction. If you notice, if I have the same thing on the numerator and the denominator, this is equivalent or the same thing as if I was multiplying it by 1. All of this equals 1. But there's a reason why I do this. When I do this operation, this multiplication, by this new fraction that I have in here, what happens to the denominator is that the root basically disappears. If I have the multiplication of the square root of x by another time the square root of x, that is the square root of x times the square root of x, or the square root of x squared, that simply equals x. Now, instead of having an x, you can have any number or any variable in here in place of the x. Two expressions, whichever expression they are, as long as they are inside of a square root and they are, and they are multiplied by themselves, they are squared, they will equal whatever it is inside of the radicand, inside of the radical sign. So, the multiplication of the square root of 48x cubed times the multiplication of, times the square root of 48x cubed will simply equal 48x cubed without any radical sign. Remember, this is the multiplication of fractions and when you're multiplying fractions, you just multiply the numerators with the denominators. I multiply this denominator with this denominator and later or first I can multiply this numerator with this numerator. If you want the whole explanation as to why the multiplication of two square roots and both have the same radicand, the same thing on the inside of the square of the radical sign, well think about it this way. The square root is the same thing as an exponent of a value of 0 0.5, of 1 half. So x, the square root of x multiplied by the square root of x is the same thing as x with an exponent of 0 0.5 multiplied by another x with also the same exponent 0 0.5. In this case, I have the same base number and by coincidence, I have the same exponent, but when I have the multiplication of two numbers that are the same base number, what I do is I keep the same base number and I add the values of the exponents. Here we have 1 half plus 1 half, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5, that just equals x raised to the power of 1. And x with an exponent 1 is simply x. So in this, a little long explanation, we see why the multiplication of the square root of x squared equals just x. So we do this multiplication on the denominator and what we get is simply 48x cubed on the denominator. Now I must multiply the numerators, but before I multiply them, I have a problem. And that is, one is a cube root and the other is a square root. So I cannot go straight into multiplication. I must try to simplify them 
to see what I can get because if I have a, a root of a cube root and a square root I cannot multiply them together so what I do is first on the cube root I rewrite the 2 uh, at the 8 as 2 cube 2 cube is the same thing as 8 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8 so the 8 becomes 2 cube and the x to the 6th power becomes x squared cube basically x squared raised to the 3rd power in this expression if you wanna this x squared cube you multiply the exponents and you get back the x to the 6th power okay so x to the 6th power and x squared parenthesis cube are both equivalent the x to the 6th power became x squared parenthesis cube now all of the terms that have an exponent 3 that are inside of the cubic root which the cubic root is a, is a root of grade 3 then I can take them outside of the radical sign for example 2 cube inside of a cube root simply equals 2 and x square parenthesis cube inside of a cube root simply equals x square so that's what I'm doing in the next step this 2 with an exponent 3 goes outside of the radical sign and here we see it on the outside and the only thing that is left after I take out the 2 is the x square cube okay the x square with an exponent 3 so this exponent 3 applies to the whole x square so I can take the x square outside of the cube root so I take the x the 2 and the x square outside of the cube root and there is nothing else left on the inside of the cube root so I basically end up without any cube roots I just end up with 2x square this whole expression here becomes 2x squared now I work on the square root of 48x cube 48 is the same thing as 3 times 16 those are the factors of the number 48 3 times 16 equals 48 and x cube x with an exponent 3 I can rewrite that or factor that as x squared multiplied by x the multiplication of x squared times x equals x cube so those are basically equivalent expressions now for the next step I am going to write 16 as 4 square 4 times 4 equals 16 so now like I had in the previous example in the previous step of this example I have a 4 with an exponent 2 and I have a variable x with an exponent 2 and those numbers that number 4 and that x are inside of a square root and the square root is a root of grade 2 I don't have to write the number 2 here but the grade of the square root is the number 2 so anything that has an exponent 2 inside of the square root I can take it out of the radical sign so let's see what happens now I take this 4 and take it out of the square root and I take this x and take it out of the square root and after I remove these two terms the only thing that stays inside of the square root are the x and the, the number 3 I'm sorry and the x that did not have the square root the square the exponent 2 so what I'm left with inside of the square root is the 3 and the x and that's what we see here the 4x came out of the radical sign and the 3 x stayed on the inside now I can multiply these two terms 2 times 4 becomes 8 and x squared multiplied by x becomes x cubed and I can simplify this like a fraction imagine a fraction that is 8 over 48 I can divide by 8 
the number 8 and I can divide by 8 the number 48. So 8 divided by 8 is just 1 and I don't have to write it. And 48 divided by 8 is 6. So the fraction 8 over 48 is equivalent to the fraction 1 over 6. And I don't have to write the 1, I just where I, where I had the number 8, where I, where I had the number 8 before, I don't have anything. And where I had the 48 before, I have the number 6. So now, I have an x cubed on the numerator and an x cubed on the denominator. Those two cancel each other out. I have the same thing on the numerator, the same thing on the denominator, when I have the same thing on the numerator and on the denominator, those two terms simply become 1. And I don't have to write the number 1 because anything multiplied by 1 is just itself. So x cubed divided by x cubed become 1 and I don't have to write the 1 and I end up with the square root of 3x divided by 6. So we started with the cube root of a x to the 6th power divided by the square root of 48x cubed and that simplified to just the square root of 3x divided by 6. Thank mm -hmm. you.